lot of fans are going to hate this. But, I'm, <laughs> but what I'm about to say, I think, is one of the imperative things to the success of this team and and the fact that it's now trending in a different direction. I don't, for one second, think that this team is where this team is right now if Koivu is still there. I really don't. And let's, d- let's dive into that then. Yeah. I mean, what it uh, hurts a little bit, you that, got a point. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, is, I mean yeah. yeah, what are all the qualities? I mean, you could easily say, because again, he was the old regime, right? He was yes. the old guy that stood guard. So, I mean, is it that shift of leadership? What makes you kind of say that exactly? I think that there was, um, I think that there was a definite feeling with that team with Koivu and, and I, I mean, it, it includes uh Suter and Parisi too, but there was a definite feeling with that team going back to a group that was Koivu and Zucker and, and then the younger kids also, you know, Granlund and Coyle um, that they were sort of, they sort of became set in their ways of how they were, were going to be, which I found to be a lot of excuses as Bruce mm-hmm. li- like to say, woe is me. <laughs> and the Koivu thing, the dynamic there, I think was, you're right, old guard. But you know what? I don't buy that people change greatly when, when the doors close. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't buy. There, there are some people that don't talk to us and then talk a little <laughs> bit more when, when we're gone. I get that as far as our jobs go. Mm-hmm. But I think what you saw from Koivu is what you got. And I think he was incredibly stoic. <laughs> um, and I don't. I, I mean, he came off as a captain because he he tried to be the adult in the room. But I but look at the guys that this team has now who are captain types, okay? Mm-hmm. And the thing that hit me about why I thought that that Koivu more off the ice than on was a detriment is. Do you guys recall a couple of years back? I think it was Marcus's second year here. He started to speak up a lot. Like mm-hmm. the first year, he wasn't good and he didn't talk that much. Mm-hmm. But the second year, we all, I mean, that became our go-to guy if the team didn't play well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he didn't rip people, but he flat out would say, this is yeah. unacceptable. Yep. I didn't play well. Here's what needs to change. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. that's a captain, right? Mm-hmm. And Koivu was always sort of this surly, well, you know, we're going to look at it. And like, almost like, <laughs> like a- I said, like I said, <laughs> like I said. <laughs> But he was sort of like a coach. And it's like, no, yeah. that's not what a captain does. A coach does that. I get that. That's coach speak. Yeah. But Marcus would cut open a vein and it was fantastic. And I, and I was like, this guy's the captain. Yeah. So yeah. so I just think that when you look at the different guys now, uh, Marcus, Benino, Cole, Spurgeon, you know, to, to, his, to what he probably does. Mm-hmm. But I think they're all true to themselves. And I really think that that's changed things. Koivu probably could have come back as a player and played fourth line, won some faceoffs, and not been a disaster. But my point is, I don't think then the team and its attitude shifts, and it really has. Yeah. I would agree, and I, it's like the team now is is having fun. God mm-hmm. forbid we say no, that, right? Word. You know, I think that's there, yeah. I that's I stress that so much, and I know part of that comes from my Minnesota hockey, youth hockey aspect of things, right? But it's so freaking true. You look at Kirill Kaprizov and that smile on his face. It's like, it's, you should be having fun. You're playing hockey. There is no reason to not have fun. Yes. Be pissed off when you lose. Yes. Be pissed off when you have a terrible shift. I mean, you're still professionals, but have some fun. And I think no disrespect to Koivu. I think it's just his Finnish attitude. Right. Mm -hmm. But I think that squashes a little bit of it. And maybe some of the guys wearing the A's squashed that a little bit. So you couldn't let guys like Matt Dumba freely out, right. Or even Alex Stalock, who was such a big part of that. Marcus Foligno, another really fun guy who can take things seriously, but it's important to be able to have fun in this game as well in order to have success and, ha- and find that team unity in return, especially now with these younger guys. I think you're absolutely right, Judd. I'd be curious to see how Miko would <laughs> mesh with uh, an Ian Cole or a Krill Kaprizov or, or something like that. I mean, even Jules Eric's neck, I think mm-hmm. you're finding coming into his own a little bit more, maybe without absolutely. big brother Miko behind him and feeling this pressure because there's been so much pressure for him to live up to that. Um, staying kind of on a Miko front, big question. Do you retire Miko Koivu's jersey <laughs> with the Minnesota Wild or do you not? I am I am very much on record as saying <laughs> if I'm the Wild I create a ring of honor. And Miko Koivu is in that. Longevity mm-hmm. statistically mm-hmm. um in my opinion there are two things working against him. One is and it's not his fault, well it sort of is, but <laughs> 
he wears the number nine hockey royalty yeah. <laughs> hockey i mean the number nine in hockey is greatness okay mm -hmm. so like one i don't want to take it out of rotation for a guy who played a long time <laughs> the second the second problem there's no playoff success there you guys yeah like there's nothing like i do i i honor him i bring mm -hmm. him in for a night he drops the ceremonial first puck mm -hmm. and i'm serious i create i create a ring that probably has koivu um gabrick mm -hmm. possibly like nick schultz like mm -hmm. all very nice players played yeah. a long time for you good guys darby um, yeah exactly mm -hmm. i yeah. create that and 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 i have something in the x where you know there's a jersey and a tribute mm -hmm. um but when we're talking about numbers going to the rafters like that's the ultimate in sports mm -hmm. and and i mean i hate to say it but the first guy in 20 years of this team the first guy that i've seen where I can legitimately see that 97. Do like it, if this dang. kid, that that's, but that's a number you retire. Yeah. Like that's yeah. the difference is I don't think that you're on the hook to retire a number. Cause a guy played a long time mm -hmm. with no cups. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about your, your, the royalty of your team mm -hmm. and Kaprizov, yeah. at least from the start looks like he could be that type of guy.